there gets a point on this journey where you literally become so fed up with the consistent seeking of truth. And by that, I mean, oh, I'm feeling sad at the moment. Let me investigate this sadness. Who is sad about it? There gets a point where you just can't do it anymore. It's not having the same impact as it was anymore. And you have to let go of it. You let go of it as a technique. It's just, in many ways, another egoic technique in illusion. And you just have to let go of it all and fully surrender into the experience. Fully just go, yeah, I feel sad. And what? That's okay. You just completely let go of the judgment that that's bad, the judgment that there's an underlying belief behind it, the judgment that we need to do some work on it, we need to sit down, we need to stop what we're doing and we need to get out our journal and write out a load of lines about it. You get so tired of doing that about this situation that you purely just give up. You let go. You sink into it. You become it. And then you find that you are observing it. And you've always been observing it. And it just is a little blip of consciousness. It's just another part of the dream, the life, the illusion, the beingness of separateness. But it's not you. By reaching the point of just giving up on seeking, giving up on searching for the reason why. The reason why is you're a body. You're believing in a body. You're believing in the thoughts and the illusions and the nonsense that's coming out of your mind, your thought processes. You're believing that to be who you are. And when you reach the point where you just go, I can't do this anymore. I can't keep searching for another meaningless belief and meaningless thought system amongst all of this and you let go and you surrender into it, you find everything. You find that you're not these belief systems, you're not these thoughts and they've been like a cage, like a metal cage keeping you small and instead you just sort of surrender and sink into this limitless openness, this complete beingness of freedom and honestly it genuinely doesn't feel any different it doesn't feel any different it's not like the heavens split open and angels come down and they're piping trumpets it's just an everythingness and a nothingness because it just feels like that's how you've always been You've always been this background of peace. You've always been the peace that is watching the sadness and is feeling the sadness. But you'll feel that sadness with peace and you'll see it as you. It's one and the same. So when you get to the point of ending your seeking and just going, this is a never ending illusion. And obviously, it gets you so far to a point and it's so useful in so many amazing elements. But honestly, it just gets to a point where you just have to give up trying to see any specialness point, anything of any value in this world and realise that it's just all and nothing. It's all temporary modifications of nothing. And why not just sink back and relax into it? Okay, I'm sad, I'm sad, but I'm sad with God. Okay, I'm happy, but I'm happy with God. Okay, I feel sad, I feel rejected because I didn't get that job. Well, I'm rejected with God. Once you have that, you don't need anything else. Once you end seeking, you end suffering and you end all need for this world to prove anything to you. It can never prove anything to you. Only you can prove anything to yourself. 
And you can do that by just being, relaxing back, surrendering into whatever you're feeling and allowing it to take you back to the truth of who you are.